If this was Chandrayaan-3 on the moon, then this will be India's Chandrayaan-4, its giant sibling that's 12 times bigger and better. In fact, Chandrayaan-4 is so ambitious that it will need two synchronized launches to simply put the parts in space. Chandrayaan-3 touchdown near the moon's south pole was hailed by the world. Now, ISRO is planning a NASA-style ambitious Chandrayaan-4 mission that will blow your mind. It's nothing short of a plot of a Hollywood blockbuster on the space race. Chandrayaan-4 is a mission to retrieve lunar soil with an epic splashdown in the Indian Ocean. So how will Chandrayaan-4 be bigger and bolder than Chandrayaan-3? When is India planning to launch this mission? And will India become only the fourth nation to bring moon samples back to Earth? While India sent a 30 kg rover in Chandrayaan-3, the next moon mission involves a rover that weighs 350 kilograms. The target is Shiv Shakti Point, where Chandrayaan-3 left India's mark forever on the moon. The Chandrayaan-4 mission will have a roaming area of 1 by 1 km, much larger than its predecessor. The revelations have been made by the director of the Space Applications Centre, Nilesh Desai, who says India plans to launch this mission within the next 5 to 7 years. Chandrayaan-3 lasted for a single lunar day or 14 Earth days. But Chandrayaan-4 is expected to function for 7 lunar days, which is equivalent to almost 100 Earth days, giving Indian scientists a longer window to conduct experiments on the Moon's surface, which includes sample collection for return to Earth. Two launch vehicles would be needed for Chandrayaan-4 to put its parts in orbit. These include Lander Module and Ascender Module, which will make its way to the Moon's surface, while the transfer module and the re-entry module which would remain in orbit around the Earth's celestial neighbour and then bring the samples back to Earth. If successful, India would only become the fourth nation in the world to bring back and possess lunar soil samples. NASA did it with its Apollo missions in 1960s and 70s, while the Soviet Union too achieved this feat last time with Luna 24 in 1976. And China's Chang'e 5 became the first craft in 2020 to bring moon samples back to Earth in 40 years. Chandrayaan-3, which made India the first country to land on the moon's south pole, provided crucial data, including the presence of sulphur and other minor elements, temperature readings and environmental observations. The bigger Chandrayaan-4 will help ISRO continue humanity's search for water on the moon at the best possible location. The moon's south pole is expected to contain millions of gallons of untapped water ice buried beneath the surface which will be crucial for any permanent human presence, including water for astronauts as well as fuel for rockets and ships. So what other space missions has India planned? ISRO is also joining forces with the Japanese space agency JAXA for a mission called LUPEX, which will investigate the quantity and the quality of water on the moon. The rover being developed by JAXA will drive on its own to search for areas where water is likely to be present and sample the soil by digging into the ground with a drill. India also has ambitions in solar research. Its Aditya 1 sun probe has successfully completed four earthbound maneuvers and a trans-Lagrangian point one insertion maneuver. So keep your eyes on the sky because India's space adventure is getting even more exciting. Now, if you found this video informative, then subscribe to our channel or just hit the like button so that it can reach more viewers.